Stephanie Gershom, the White House Press Secretary and Communications Director for the White House, joins us. Good morning to you, Stephanie. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so New York Times has a story, front page of uh, the newspaper this morning. Hold that up, Steve. And it says, money to Ukraine tied to inquiries, Bolton book says. So John Bolton allegedly gave, uh, somehow they got their hands on his memoir that happens to be available for pre-sale on Amazon Ooh. today. Uh, and he says that the president did say, quid pro quo, we're not going to give you this money unless you investigate the Bidens. Yes. Uh, well, as the president tweeted last night, that that's just not true. And actually, Ainsley, I would say that I, I agree with you. I think the timing of all of this is very, very suspect. You know, uh, our team just went on Saturday and in two hours undid all of the hours and hours and 24 hours that the Dems did in the Senate trial. And it's very clear the president did nothing wrong. And then suddenly this uh, manuscript has magically appeared in the hands of the New York Times, making very, very big claims. This is by a publisher, uh, the same publisher that Comey used also. And the fact that magically again, you know, the book ordering online pre-order link popped up a couple hours after all of this hit. You know, it's sad, um, but I think the timing is very suspect. And again, as the president said, that that's just not true. The president did nothing wrong. And we stand by exactly what we've been saying all along and exactly what the transcript has been showing all along. Right. And uh, of course, uh, it was on uh, December 30th that Bolton sent the transcript to the National Security Council for review, see if in, there's any secret stuff in there. Obviously, I, I, I would imagine the White House could, could snip out any part they wanted to. Uh, do you know anything about that? Any upcoming edits that might happen? No, uh, that is something that we have kept walled off for obvious reasons, just could be a conflict with the trial going on. So mm -hmm. it's nothing that I've seen and nothing that I know about in terms of what they would remove for national security. Now, I don't know if they have done anything, if they have made any edits yet for the national security and if there's any classified information out there. But if there is, that's a very, very dangerous mm -hmm. precedent to set once no again. The, the president, yeah. uh, according to this uh, excerpts in this book with John Bolton, who's a contributor here and has always been upstanding, uh, and very candid, if nothing was, else, and was honest. Was a contributor. Was a contributor. Uh, but he also says that Rudy Giuliani may be working for his per, for personal business in the Ukraine. Would that change? Uh, would the president know anything about that? And would that change uh, his opinion of Rudy Giuliani if that to be to the, be the case? I haven't talked to the president about that, and that's that's a lot of speculation. I don't I don't know if that's the case, and I don't know how the president would feel about it. The president has said many times that you know Rudy Giuliani has been working in his capacity as the president's personal attorney. So I think you'd have to ask him, uh, Giuliani, a little bit more about that. Well, uh, the president was uh, tweeting yesterday. He tweeted this out, Stephanie. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar. Shifty Adam Schiff is a corrupt politician and probably a very sick man. He is not paid the price yet for what he has done to our country. Adam Schiff didn't like that paid the price thing. He said this on Meet the Press. I don't think it was personal uh, to refer to this CBS story. Um, what may be personal, though, and I think I have to be very candid about this, is I made the argument that it's going to require moral courage to stand up to this president. Um, and this is a wrathful and vindictive president. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And if you think there is, look at the president's tweets about me today, uh, saying that I should pay a price. And, and Stephanie, what does that mean? He will pay a price at the ballot box or what? Yeah, I think that it's he, uh, Schiff has a shockingly thin skin if he thinks that that was any kind of a threat from the president of the United States. And I just said this yesterday. Yes, I believe that it means that there will be consequences with the American people and at the ballot box. You know, talking about standing up to, you know, for moral reasons to the president, that doesn't equate with impeachment. That doesn't equate with any crimes. You don't impeach a president because you disagree with him morally or via policy. So I think he's got some thin skin there. I think he was grandstanding once again. And, you know, playing the pity card that he just got threatened mm. by the president is just, I think people see through that. All right, lastly, uh, the stunning news yesterday, the president tweeted about almost immediately and the passing of Kobe Bryant at the age of 41 in a helicopter crash along with seven, uh, uh, eight others, one of which was his 13-year-old daughter. Uh, the White House response today, is there anything that's going to be going on uh, at the White House to commemorate his life? 
You know, I, I will say that on behalf again of the president and the first lady, both of them tweeted about it and the entire administration. It is a horrible tragedy and our thoughts and prayers go out to the Bryant family and to the family of the others who were lost, uh, the pilot, any of the families there. Horrible, horrible, tragic. Um, and we just hope that people can take some time to let the families grieve and not make this too much of a media circus. Right. And also, I understand the president's going to be meet with Benjamin Netanyahu, as well as his uh, primary opponent. When are we going to see the Middle East peace plan? <laughs> yes, he's going to meet with both of them today. You know, this is probably quite literally one of the biggest problems to take on in the entire world. And here we've got a president who is not afraid to do it and is already, I think, gone farther than any other administration to make this happen. So I'm not going to get ahead of anything that may or may not happen, but I think the fact that they are both going to be here and he's going to meet with both of them is huge news. And big kudos to the president for all that he's done here. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Thanks for being with Thank us. You. Thank You're you. Thank you very much.